Hello, everybody. Hope you all having a wonderful day so far. So this might be it. This might be the end, right? If all goes according to plan, then we are... Uh, we're going to finish Tears of the Kingdom today. Oh, I can't. I have to pull up my notepad from here. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get my list of, um... Excuse me, I'm hiccuping a lot. Ooh. I'm just trying to get my list of stuff that I wanted to do pulled up. Uh, but given that the search pad is, like, actively crashing, uh, my entire, like, Windows interface is just not doing very well. Uh, we're probably not gonna get that list. Belly, thanks for the follow. And hi, Declo, and hi, Sonic, and hi, everybody else who is... <sighs> we're, we are, we are finally seeing this through to the end. Now, I've got 16 shrines left. Um, if we wanted to, we could spend an hour trying to crank those shrines out. Um, because remember, we, we have, uh, we, we have these, uh, where am I going? Side adventures, right? I mean, I'm not going to do the stone tablets, right? And I don't really care about the monster hunting group right now. And I mean, I mean, there, there is the stable quests. Um, that was something I was kind of interested in. These treasure quests are still kind of cool, right? Like, like, like I would have been interested in doing this. Um. You know, there's like bits and pieces of interesting things, right? And, and, and maybe the goddess statue, um, section would have been interesting to do. So, you know, we've got, we've got a few options of, like, little pieces of content, but honestly, every, every one of these, I could take it or leave it. It wouldn't bum me out too much to not do them, right? And so, what do I actually want to do? Um, in my list, it says, stable quests, question mark. Now that I've done the great fairies, I don't think I really care too much. Uh, there's the champion's tunic, which I cared about. Um, that's right, okay, so, 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 so the number one thing that I wanted to do is, uh, a Gibdo Queen refight. Oh, we're gonna get out of here, actually. Uh, Zeknol, thank you so much for the Prime! A 14-hour day sounds really exhausting, but I really hope we can make it a little easier for you. Um... Yeah, so let's go find the Gibdo Queen. Let's find where her refight is, because we, we found it at one point and then forgot where it is. And I think it's on this side of the map somewhere? Or it was, like, conspicuously not part of Gerudo Desert, which was weird. Right? Can anybody give me a hand? Do you do any of you know? I guess we're just gonna have to check these spots, right? It was like down here, like near-ish construct factory or something. Like it was so random. Let's try this one. The only reason I want to do this is to have Gibdo bones and a lot of them, right? And then we're going to need to cook and prepare for the end of the game, right? Oh, and the Lake Hylia Shrine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to do that. Okay. This, one. this was... No, this was Marbled Mulduga. Um, this was... which one? Let's find out. I've got to be pretty laser focused today, because, I mean, like, obviously I have been stressing out about my league performance lately, and so, I, and, and the conclusions that were- another Marvel Mulduga. The, uh, the conclusions that we've been drawing is pretty much just the solo play, solo practice, like, do more of it, right? I'm 
so I just I just need the evenings available without this this thing looming over my head where I will I will regret like not finishing it, you know? There it is! That's Gibdo Queen. Okay, perfect. Uh, oh no, you're better, and... Wait, you're, you're the best, right? I have, like, no aesthetically good outfits anymore. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Start summoning garbage. Do I have elemental weapons? I guess I don't technically need them. Oh, that's right. These things need to be actually empowered to do anything. I'm pretty sure I still have that lightning sword. Yeah, here it is. I can't remember her moves, like, at all. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to just use Riju and harass her with my bow. But... There we go. Definitely use a few more like little guys jumping up right now. Okay, is she is she is she doing more damage? Is this souped up? Yeah, look at her HP. This is a stronger fight. Or not? Or not. So I think she regenerates here, right? But like, the only reason I'm doing this is for give dope bones. So like, can you open the hives or give me some loot? Oh, I forgot about this! <laughs> I feel really ripped off. I wanted to relive the trauma of a zombie apocalypse, and yet you're telling me I can't do that. It's just because I didn't phase her. I can't, I can't believe it. Okay, so they're gloom coated and also there's no natural light. Ah, uh, wait a minute, this. <laughs> wait, this is actually dummy hard, no? They don't drop anything! I've been scammed! They're not real! <gasps> oh no! Uh... Okay, let's just... Let's just kite the whole thing out, right? Like, just, we, we, we don't engage. 
we're a little in over our heads, you know. Life hasn't worked out the way we wanted it to. Sometimes you just get chased by super zombies. You know, zombies empowered by more zombie energy. Um... Good thing we're capable of rolling with the punches, I guess? Yeah. Okay, she emerges again. Wait, wait, Sidon can actually help me. I didn't have Sidon last time I did this fight. Sidon also has an element. Yeah! Oh, and this is the wet weapon! Okay, I was really hoping that knockdown would happen. Uh, okay, so I guess we refought Queen Gibdo for no real reason. Unless this is like 20 to 30 Gibdo bones. Maybe 40, maybe 50. Can I have 60? I'm only asking for 70. It's really not that big a deal. There, okay. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's actually really good! Oh, that's a really good incentive for refighting the bosses! I mean, I don't know if every one of them gives you that, but... No, that's super, super useful. <sighs> okay. Um, so I guess what we're going to do then is we're going to get more battery power. Um, we're going to check in with Pura. We're going to see what we're supposed to do. And then we're going to decide how much preparation we need to do. Producing. Yeah, that that's a full cell. That's a complete energy well, just from one boss fight. Okay, let's work this out. No matter what, I want to see the end credits run today. Um, and if we have to revisit the game like once to see some extra content, or if I do it off stream or like whatever, then then so be it. All right. It's time, right? Did you find out anything about the fifth sage? Yes, I did. What? You you found the sage of spirit, M Minoru. This is uh -huh. incredible. That means we have the five sages. Fantastic work, Link. 
I can't believe this is actually one of the sages who faced off against the Demon King alongside Princess Zelda. And now we have some news about the princess. There's some relief in that, at least. So in the ancient past, Princess Zelda works to restore the decayed Master Sword and return it to your hand, trusting that you would defeat the Demon King in the present day. She did so much all on her own. What? Th the Master Sword was restored, you say? When were you planning on telling me? And you found it in the head of a white dragon of all places. That's hard to believe. However, hmm. this was Princess Zelda's wish, one she believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see it through. For us, thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, hmm. you really don't look quite yourself unless you've got the Master Sword at your side. Check it. Now then, it seems you have all you need. You're prepared to face our enemy. We need to determine where the Demon King is lurking. It seems unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. I can't think of any place he'd be here on the surface. That must mean he's in the depths. Uh, I mean, I think so. But I've already found... Wait, what? I... What? So, so the Demon King is in the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. So, so how did I already know that? As usual, you're one step ahead of me, Link, and you look so calm and collected despite what you were up against. You navigated the depths, which are, home, which are incredibly dangerous and home to all sorts of nasty creatures, not to mention the doom gloom down there. Wait, was it main story to complete the depths map? Princess Zelda's final wish hit the Demon King right in the face for me. Vain quest to destroy Ganondorf. All right, nice. Wait, was I did I did I leave Joshua completely out to dry? No. Doc phrased my work because of my research here able to locate the Demon King. Really? You mean just like the Demon King, not just any old Demon King, but the Demon King? Yeah, Joshua, keep up. <laughs> uh, I might hold the answer. You're not allowed into the depths, but you want to continue to help out even if you can't go. That's awesome. Good job. Thank you for telling me, swordsman. Okay, rock. Give me a... Don't you have pants? Aren't you supposed to offer me pants? I don't know. 4 -0. Wait, that's crazy. Congrats, Paradox. Um. Okay, so... I, I, I mean, it is as simple as just go down there. Go down there and fight him, right? Um, how many? How many of these do I have? Uh, okay, well, Sage's will. Do, do we want to get these? Like, like, is there any reason? I haven't used the travel medallion at all, even though that would have been useful. Uh, I, I don't know how many orbs of light I have. Might be zero. So if we want to be ready for a boss fight, we have to cook. Right? We just, we, we need more food than this. Just straight up. And it's going to be gloomy. Right? So we're going to need uh, food cooked with sundy lions. We're gonna need Sunday Line, and we can make Sunday Line food really, really, really easily. I have zero. Or four Sage's Wills. Uh. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> There's a usable pot in here, right? Is this the final stream? Should be. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, it has. We, uh, we, we, ha I mean, look, look at all the stuff we've got, right? Map mostly filled out. I mean, I mean, there's, there's still some sky stuff we've never been to. And I think some of this sky stuff would have been useful to check out, right? Like, I, I, I've surely never been to these islands or to these ones or any of this, right? But I think I'm okay with that. <sighs>
Right here. Yep, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, so let's just make all the food we need, right? We're going to need... Four. With a golden apple. I'm going to make sure this food is, like, entirely for uh, gloom hearts. Because I just... I, I don't want my healing tied to this. Otherwise, I'm going to waste healing. Right. Okay. So this is going to be all the gloom recovery that we can get. We have four sources of it. And of course, it's going to do a lot for us, but... I mean, that is limited, right? Raw prime meat. Um, I mean, the Endura carrot is kind of appealing. Although I need the, the, these need to be health. Like he health is everything here, right? Link must defeat me. You have to defeat just yourself. Uh, Mighty bananas. And I'll put in some golden apples. That's really good. Let's go back to the bananas. That's pretty bad, okay. Um, we need higher health regen, which I... Except the tomatoes would have been good. Use it in cooking to recover more hearts. Ah. Why didn't I do that? What does happen if I eat the dirt? Oh, it's just baseline gloom resistance like the Midna Helm. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. We've got a lot of healing, right? Like, a lot, a lot of healing. <laughs> this radish is kind of cracked, right? Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's really strong, okay. Wait, what do you mean select for recipe? No, you, yo, no, dude, it actually just... Okay, it's only the ones that you've actually made before. I just... I didn't realize! I didn't realize I had this. <laughs> okay, most of these aren't better than just regular food, so that's fine. We have fish. used to make elixirs, they temporarily... Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, that's so easy! 
easy. Wait, they're so easy to make. Okay, hang on, hang on. And you said just choo-choo jelly. Just blue choo-choo jelly. God damn it. It's that easy. It's really that easy. Is there anything? What, what, what other? Like, so that's glow elixir. That's stealth elixir. Electric. What do you mean warm and fuzzy? Cook it with monster parts to feel warm and fuzzy. Oh, spicy elixir. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, frog's guts to make a powerful. Okay, so that's just supposed to soup up the elixir. So, so, so that's what guts do. Guts just make things stronger. So you need critters plus... Huh. I... I missed a lot! <laughs> I, missed, I missed a lot of potential! Um... Hmm. Yeah, I just don't have anything else that really matters to me. But either way, I I mean I think our I think our food is good. I think our food situation is excellent. Uh, because it's so early in the night, then, we still have... Oh, we have a truth or truth. <laughs> uh, am I really Quinn, or a clone of Quinn, or an imposter of Quinn, or even, dare say, a Nico or a Teemo? Well, last time I checked, I was Quinn, but I'm pretty sure that's also what a clone of Quinn design or an imposter would also want to say. I mean, I know this says I have to be entirely truthful. <laughs> But, you know, if I truly believe that, then it is truthful, right? Carson, when it, it's Carson! You really can't. You, you represent Hudson poorly. <laughs> Out of thousand followers, belly button reveal. <laughs> Spot. I forgot about these. Oh yeah, let me explain. I fixed it. Lurelin's fine. The pirates are gone. Yes, everyone's alive. Save up money and then go back to the shop. Okay, um, what do we have? That's just, I have that. I have that. Uh, I never bought these. Let's go get the champions, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, because I'm not going back into Hyrule Castle, right? So there's one more side quest. Uh, the Throne Room of Hyrule Castle. Yeah, let's go. Let's just handle that very quickly. I thought there would be, like, a revisit, right? But yeah, no, can, so, so, so yeah, you guys have pointed out, it's, it's been a long time, it's been a long journey, we've been playing Tears of the Kingdom for a while now, and I was thinking about that earlier today, and I was kind of upset, I was kind of regretting it, because what, what I was supposed to do is I was supposed to use this opportunity to become a better streamer, right? We were go, I was going to review a bunch of my streams, and, um, study other streamers, and really, like, hone the craft, really take it seriously as creating. And, you know, to a degree, I think, mission accomplished. I think I improved a ton at this. Um, but over the last few sessions, I was kind of upset, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I did, I, w I went far enough, right? Oh shit, I don't like this. It's like, sure, I got better, but I did, did I get better in all the ways that I wanted to get better at? And did I want, like, like, did I get noticeably funnier? And did I get, um... better at carrying every conversation. Did I actually do the review with other street, like about other streamers and how they do it that I wanted to do? Um, and so I was almost thinking it's, you know, I was just having a lot of regrets. Yeah. Uh, but then again, I also started to think about Lee, and- oh wait, it's just a chest right here. Like, <laughs> That's it? That's the entire quest? Like, alright, whatever. Um, yeah, and I was, I was thinking about League and, like, you know, because I've been, I've been doing some practice, I've been working on my skills there, and I was getting upset there as well, that I wasn't, like, improving at every single aspect of everything, you know? Uh, but then it hit me. This is something that I'd already, t like, tried to work on through my Legends of Runeterra session. Uh, the reality is... Why am I trying to rush every skill? Why am I living exclusively in regret? Right? I think about how I've run some of my streams, and a lot of them felt like complaint sessions. Why, why is it all regrets? Why is it all just, like, me venting about something that I'm not super happy about in the moment? Right? And if a mono- like, I, I think a monologue is a pretty pure, for pure form of self-expression. Right? Just like, I mean, this is very direct stream of consciousness, like, my brain out. Like, bleh. You know? And if that's true, and I, and I look at what I'm saying... <sighs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just still holding myself to a, too high of a standard. Just something a little too ridiculous. Just judging myself for trying. Which is not what we actually like doing. That's actually fun how I can upgrade these. Um, is anything worth upgrading? Like, like, what do I want to be wearing? Wait, I never got the... I never did a lot with the barbarian armor. Is this worth the Lionel parts? Yeah. Yeah, it is worth the Lionel parts. So yeah, unfortunately, I've just rolled back to a point where, you know, it's so judgy. It's so annoying. <laughs> um, 
And the solution to that is not going to be to grind more at these skills. It's not going it's not going to be like just saying to myself, Oh, why are like like why are you not where you wanna be there? Like like It's not about that. So I've beaten this topic to death. I just want to let you guys know that you know, I've I've kind of recognized more of the problem. I've recognized the ways I've stepped back, and I've recognized that I've not been doing the maintenance on myself that I learned to do during the war climb. And if that meant that we couldn't go all 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 the way on this particular study, then that's fine, because there will be another opportunity later, like after League of Legends, to try learning all of this again, right? And that's and that's fine. I didn't really mean to press back. So I can't take that any further. Um, I can't take that any further. I've never killed Octoroks. Okay, this is free to upgrade. Can't upgrade the Midna Mask, but it's nice to have the Gloom Resistance. Okay, these are so easy to upgrade. God damn it! Am I am I, am I gonna wear the Miner's Top in the final battle? No, I can't wear the Gimp Suit to Ganondorf. Oh, thank goodness, it's actually hard now. <laughs> I thought I would. Uh -huh. Okay, well, I might be wearing the mask. Because hmm? that, one, that one just is better now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, have I upgraded all of these? Oh, I have! I have upgraded them all! Oh, we have to see what this feels like! That's disappointing. I think we're supposed to take it to two stars. There was like a fall damage immunity or something. Yeah. I'll do like four shrines, I think. I almost fell into the same trap again. I'm so mad. You know what I was about to do? I was about to start complaining. I'm, I was about to say like, oh, I regret now that like so many of the stories about myself are just like complaining and regretting. And it's like, I'm regretting, regretting. That's the point we're at. Like, <sighs> Wait, don't tell me this was this easy the whole time, right? No, I'm regretting this! Ah! <laughs> I was gonna throw the flying machine to come up here, and it wasn't even the thing I was gonna do right now, but... It turns out you can just make it! Oh my god!
This is unreal, right? No, like... mad anymore like like we've we've hit an absurd point life is about growing and learning from your mistakes but i'm just fucking mad on every single one of them like <laughs> it's too much it's too much oh do you think Link lives like this? No, Link just fucks around. He just has a good time. The weight of the world is on his shoulders. We've been over the themes of the game. We've been over the hardships. We've been over the interesting topics. But at the end of the day, this is a silly, goofy little guy who has every, <laughs> every expectation on his shoulders and does not care. He cares. He takes it seriously. I mean, I know there's been, like, like the bits of his story where it's like you know he's he's quiet and you know some of his anxiety does come out but at the end of the day he like you know he, he just he he does a backflip off a sky island like face plants into the ground gets up all good no regrets everything's fine there's pressures there's anxieties and, and I, i'm starting to get what people mean too like, like you know a therapist will talk to you and say like this is a hard thing i struggle with this too and it's like how can you struggle this with this you have so much knowledge i've been it hit me today that i've been like you know i've been struggling with some problems in um mostly in esports uh like with these particular problems and the solution to those problems is in one of my videos <laughs> i've already talked about it right it's like, oh, just, just like cementing a lesson, just keeping it there. Like, that's how people can s struggle with it. It's so stupid. Just, I'm, I'm adopting absurdism from now on. Put your hands up. No. But I have a gun. I don't care. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> We adopt the fuck it, we ball mentality. That's so much like like the, we, there's there's the virgin like oh no everything's getting messed up versus the Chad, everything sucks and I'm vibing. I read this post the other day um, about Disco Elysium, which sounds like a very, very, very fun game that I would probably enjoy quite a lot. Um, and basically, it was from the perspective of somebody who lived in Iran. Um, and... Basically, what they were saying is, it is nice to have a game that just reflects the experiences of living through, like, terrible conditions, but finding the joy in it all, right? Like, this post was basically saying, it's like, yes, so they've been feet from, like, terrorist bombings. Like, there's barbed wire fences all over the place. Like, like sometimes there's not enough food. But it's like, the, 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 the stories they told were about, like, the latent humanity that comes out in situations like that and how they almost miss it, you know? Like, like ha after having emigrated to America. And that is like the ultimate fuck it we ball. I'm doing a very poor job at, you know, presenting the story and I'd, I'd recommend that you go find that post somewhere. It was on Tumblr. Um, but just a very like bad situation, good life sort of thing. Um, are 
Are you telling me not every light route is right under our... Wait, what? So maybe we just learn to take ourselves less seriously. Oh, this is the construct factory. Ew. I was also just filled with disappointment today because, like, you know, I went to the library to work on my next video script, and it didn't go very productively. And then I got a call, and the house I've been looking for, looking at, and that I've been in talks about, um, that deal fell through, and they're renting to somebody else. And like, ugh, just, you know, it, it all feels real bad at once. But, and then it's like, you know, I. The, the jobs that I've applied for, they're, they're very backlogged, like, no one's getting back to me, even though I'm qualified. And I can despair about all of that, or we can say, fuck it, we ball. I prefer to ball. <laughs> okay, I mean, we still slip, but we're getting a ton of... getting a lot more out of it. Aggressively, artificially inflated quality of life. Let's do it. Zeknol, did I watch the Project L stuff? Yes. Yes, I did. And I had a couple of thoughts. I watched what you posted into our server, and I also watched the Maximilian Dude video. Um, and the bits that I'm a little concerned about is that it seems really, really, really difficult as an intro fighting game. Um, it seems like a super good game for existing fighting game fans. Um... It just seems like there's a lot of mechanics, right? So, I'm still probably going to try to start with it if it if the timeline works out like that. But why am I not getting anything about a shrine? Skill floor, or... Wait, wait, do you mean skill floor? After saying base level, it's super easy? Yeah. <laughs> Meant ceiling, okay. Actually, am I low on white bacoblin stuff? Hang on, let me just do this right now. Not nah, that stupid. I'll do it after the stream. I was about to capture my thumbnail, but my process sucks. I'd like to show it off to some of you at some point. Okay, off your shits. I want to spin on you. Okay, this is the worst type of matchup, I think. It wasn't worth spending this weapon on this guy now that I look at it.
I don't even get his parts now unless I go down there. Okay, whatever. I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything good here. Uh, let's go to here. <sighs> so the harder a game is, the easier it is to start with in fighting games. Now, I'd be really interested in hearing that full essay, um, because that does seem counterintuitive, that skill floor and skill ceiling are, like, universally, inversely linked like that. I think that sounds really odd. Um, but it does sound cool. Yeah, yeah t t tell me more about this, because, like, I mean, not in the sense that I can mash, right? Like, like, like it doesn't just become a mashers game, right? I'll, I'll have to watch it later, yeah. Sounds really good for me to watch it later. Or, or, or I wonder, like, like off the top of my head, what I would guess is... Okay, that's too high. And now it's raining. It's a stamina check with the root. Ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fuck, I got distracted, and that was oh, now I just look like I'm I, now I look like a tool. Because that's, that's what I had imagined we were going to say. And I'm so happy to be right. But now it looks like I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you can just start wherever, right? Something will work for you. Pretty much no matter what. A more complex game has more... How... Wait, okay, how how much is that... How transferable is that? If a more complex game has more entry points, how far can we take that? Like, like, like for example, in League, there's a lot of different places to start. Um, does that arguably make League more accessible? Where, yeah, because you you can you can learn the skills necessary to play different roles first. I mean I mean there still are the fundies underneath all of that, like just basic. Uh, I mean you have to do wave management like pretty much no matter what. No, but not no matter what. It's not universal, because junglers at the very beginning don't have to. Wow, I never thought about it that way. Whoops. 
So in simpler games, in simpler games, there will be a correct thing to start learning. But in complex games, there's not. Wow! Wait, that's so cool! <laughs> Can you hurry up? Not quite. No, I mean, yes. Yes! Objectively, yes! I'm <laughs> like... Or, okay, no, 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 I'm, I'm missing the simple side, not the complex side. I thought you were contesting me on the complex side. You need a higher understanding of the entire game when it's simplified. I'm going for the chest. Doing. So yeah, yeah, maybe maybe it would be okay for me to start with Project L then. I can gimmick my way to victory. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm not gonna. I, I'm I'm gonna have to try some honest character at some point. Yeah. I mean, I want to gimmick my way to victory. I think that sounds hilarious, but. I can't do just that. Hello, what's this? Oh, I can imagine. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, any, anything that's not the top of the ladder doesn't have a super developed skill set, right? Like, 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 like do, you, do you know how many egregious misplays we found in lore? Do you know how many egregious misplays I made in lore? Do you know how many fundamentals I was missing in Diamond lore? And how many I may still be missing in Master's lore, right? It's actually absurd. It's Schrodinger's rank. Plot ain't shit, but plot's also kind of nice. Good job. You know, bo both are true. <laughs> I don't know if I can shield myself in the rain here. Random is it with slip resistance? Oh. Where does this work? Is this a sage's will? Ah, oh, it's a zone I charge. I thought this would be like, like I realized all of a sudden the structure was like similar enough that this would be a really good place to teach somebody that that exists. All right, let's do it. Let's just jump straight in.
Prisma. Thank you so much for the tier one resub for 13 months. That is a lot. I appreciate that a ton. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Don't tell me this is actually my final outfit. Okay, it's it's practically this, but ew. I don't like that. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I get to actually use you guys. I get to use you guys to my advantage. I am trying to write the Legends of Runeterra video. As an audience who does not play card games, what kind of explanation would you need about how lore works to really follow the video? Would you need me to explain its base systems? Would you want me to just kind of gloss over it and just talk about, like, the basics that I've learned and you kind of follow me as I go? Like... I know that's the most vague question possible, but do you think you could enjoy a Legends of Runeterra video that didn't immediately explain how Legends of Runeterra worked? That, that's kind of what I'm figuring it out. Wh whether you say yes or no will have influence, but won't, like, fully decide the final result. Right. <laughs> Sleep not outfit. <laughs> Hang on, we're just gonna wait until the rain goes away. In the meantime, we're gonna... <laughs> Anguish. Yeah, I gotta find somebody. Minoshi plays Hearthstone. Like, all my direct friends play Lore. Like, it's it's hard. But, but, but the target audience is League players, right? It's a Legends of Runeterra video for League players. So... What that means is that... You know, I, I have to tailor it to the right audience. Alright, this is the scariest chasm. Yeah, I was thinking, I was, I was trying to figure out if, like, explaining how the, uh, an average turn goes would be necessary, or, like, they have dispelled all of the darkness. That's, uh, <laughs> the ground is breathing. I'd also like to know what this is, but it looks like it's even deeper than this. Or is it not? I'm curious. We're checking this out. <laughs> this is when I'm allowed to be my most distracted. I'm really, really not very attentive, am I? I saw this, and I'm like, wow, we can get you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, okay. I want to go check out one of the bargainer statues I've never been to, now that I think about it as well. Forge construct. Bargainer statue. Perfect. Go here.
It's our last chance to be distracted together. Now, obviously, this is directly under one of the springs, right? That's just how it's set up. It's really pretty. Wait, 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 is that? Yes, 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 it is an outfit. Oh, we found one without a map. No, it's just a, okay, I mean, still worth it, still nice, but damn it. The Wellspring of Wisdom. Very nice. Uh, the statue is where? Nope, I'm just, I'm, I'm just blind then, like. It, it must be higher. It's the only explanation, it must just be higher up. Tiny space to be in. It must be like way up here. Are you serious? Look what's up there. Did you <laughs> did you guys notice that? What the hell? Okay, it's 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 totally above me and I'm not wasting any time climbing this. I'm going back up. And I'm staying up. I just thought, you know, if there's a deep chasm with a spring in it and the bargainer statues corresponds to like the springs of power and wisdom and courage, then like, you know, maybe maybe we jump the statue in there. Um but, you know, it's, it's okay if it's on top of the equivalent of Mount Everest. Uh, that's also okay. Wait, it's actually still up that high. No way. Uh, 
Uh, no, that doesn't seem real, right? No, that doesn't seem real. That That's set dressing, right? No. Um... Oh, so actually the real spot to take advantage of that would be here. I think we can cheese this further. We're gonna get some nice gouda out of this. Now hang on, hang on, I played a meat stick in Smash Bros, but not because that's necessarily the best thing for me to be playing. Mostly because it's the only thing I could figure out how to play at the time as a young kid. And we've only seen four characters. Like... <laughs> I hope they put fiddlesticks in the game. Okay, I guess I guess we've seen footage of Yasuo, or not footage, like a picture of Yasuo surprising nobody, right? I did not remember that we've seen Alawi. Okay, sure enough, this is a fat nothing. Uh-oh, is this a something? Uh-oh, is this a something? No, it's a nothing. Okay, all of this is a nothing. Thank goodness. Oh, hang on. Here you are. Make an offering, offer pose. Stay a moment. Wait. What do you mean? <gasps> what? What is this? Why can I have these? Oh, because I found them already. So, oh, so I don't have to be concerned about losing access to Big Oron Sword. Oh, that's awesome. No, no, no. I'm really, really happy about that. I don't know why I'm allowed to have the gear a second time. Spear. Wait a minute, the magic staff is a spear. Wait, yeah, give me one. If you do so, you may receive further blessings. So I can get a full gloom resist. Ooh, that looks cool. I like that. Okay, but it doesn't really matter. Um, lookout landing, sleep, just replenish my hearts, get something high quality. Let's go fight Ganondorf. <laughs> oh, 
So we have seen Jinx, Darius, Elawi, Echo, and Ari, and there's been a glimpse of Yasuo that we weren't supposed to see. Who do we think is going to make the game? Like, technically, we haven't seen a traditional zoner yet. I, now, now, I don't know anything about these co-op games. Like, is there usually a zoner? Or are these games more, like, close-up, fast-paced? Like, tag games. When was Yas showing off? He wasn't. Not intentionally. And he wasn't leaked? I, I mean, I guess it's technically a leak. There's just... There, there, there are images circulating Twitter of... Like, from the... From, I think from... I don't know if they're from the dev playtests or what. But... So we haven't, so I, I don't know how like the Marvel versus Capcom style games work. Um, I don't know if they usually have like proper zoning. Um, Cause they, they were talking about how Arya's rushed down, right? They do, okay, good. So 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 who who would ours be? Probably Lux. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if Lux made the game. It's probably Lux. I guess they haven't talked about Jinx's playstyle very much, have they? I mean, she's got her big ass hammer in this game, so. Dude, Ezreal would be so annoying. <laughs> but we get like, what, we get 14 characters? That's what they've said? Something like that? Already taking oh oh yeah we didn't we didn't prep our weapons at all guys not even a little bit oh hang on hang on I'm, I'm i'm not trying to fight i'm just trying to get my bearings i'm trying to decide if i even need to be in here you know what even if i don't need to be in here let's do it um soldier spear Actually, I don't want to waste my spear on, like, an easier fight. Fuck. Okay, well, it's the soldier spear, not the traveler spear, so that should be okay, right? And besides, I'm only using a silver and coblin horn. Okay, there's a... Silver horrible one behind me. There's... I need to find where Riju is gone. Oh, I'm getting owned, dude. I cannot take this much damage before the real fight. Fuck, man. There we go. Wait, that was just a standard one? Okay, this... This does not bode well, so let's just, let's try again, right? Saying anything about the release roster? No, I mean, I, I, it's we're we're going by slots shown off on the website. I think where where, where it was impl like it was implied fourteen release roster. Um, yeah. This is like third hand information, though. It's like going off of tweets that I vaguely remember. <laughs> you know? I want more 
good spear bases. I mean, the only downside is like I I feel like I I feel like they can't put like noticeably unpopular characters in the game if they can't have like a million characters. Okay, hang on. What, what have we got? Ugh, wooden sticks, a bad base. Okay, big ore on sword. This is a 91 power weapon! Okay, now Traveler Spear. Let's let's give a spear. Yes. Yes, 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 I like that. Okay, the magic staff gets a gem. Um and it should be. I think Topaz is, whoops. Okay. I don't need a rock sledge. Okay, single, uh, that's a one-handed, it's not a great base. The boomerang is a pretty great base. Master Sword. Master Sword needs a strong attachment on it. <laughs> and the fe uh, so does the Feathered Spear. We'll give it a Frog Fang. <laughs> I mean, the Royal Broadsword is fine. I'll just give it up a Koblen Horn Warren. It's like a pretty standard normal weapon that I can use as we're adventuring. Um, same here. Who's our grappler? Who's our, who's our best candidate for a grappler in the league roster? Probably, I, I mean, maybe it's set. It probably is set, isn't it? Uh, where can I get better bases? Wooden stick just sucks, no? <sighs> I'm I'm gonna look for a few more just weapon bases, actually. It's probably really extra. But... Yeah. I hope they put Malzahar in the game and the only thing he does is just stop you from playing the game. He just turns into a 1v1. Like he just suppresses a guy and now he's not in play and the other guy's not in play. So you have to use your other champ. That sounds like a good champion. <laughs> I think everyone would enjoy playing against that. Especially since they revealed it's a team game, so just one guy actually doesn't get to play. <laughs> well, I feel like Silas is an easy inclusion. I feel like Silas would be really easy to add, and he would do some really cool things. Um, 
Who would be the most natural mage to like close up? We've already we 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 we've already seen Ari in action, and I mean she looks pretty good, just like in close range combat. No, I really don't think it would be that hard to make a mage cat. Right? Like. Yes! That's the sort of thing I was hoping to find. That is not the sort of thing I was hoping to find. Is he armored? Yeah, fuck that. Absolutely not. I'm surprised LeBlanc comes to mind as a champion who would probably look good in a direct fighting game. Like... I mean, I'm gonna be real, she barely looks good in League. <laughs> um... Who else? Who else could I see? Who else could I imagine? I really don't need to stay at full either. I can take damage right now. Right now in my head, I'm just trying to come up with a really, like, unfitting mage who I think they could still, like, make them cool in a fighting game context. You know, something like Zareth, but easier. No, you know, even Zareth. Like, even Zareth could have a bunch of different projectiles and then, like... There could be some close range, like arcing electricity attacks. That would look really cool, right? And this is where my lack of fighting game knowledge really bites me, because I just don't know what else has been in other games. I just want to see some of my favorite champions. I would love to see Pike. I would love to see... I mean, we're going to see Alawi, which is awesome. Um... I would love to see Fiddle, even though we're not going to. The reason I'm out here, by the way, is I'm just trying to find more weapon spots, like, in a higher leveled area. Like, nearer the outskirts. Oh, which means it would be good for me to check over here, too. Yeah, and if, and if they were to introduce, like, Zareth, of course, that would be a hardcore zoner, but I don't think thematically it's hard to make close-ranged attacks for that character. Like, just just the bare minimum necessary ones, you know? Uh, any weapons? Any weapons? Okay, I'm very... Hang on. This thing. This, this is a rushdown character. 
Really? Liquify. That's... That's so bizarre. <laughs> Oh, I can't, I can't, I, I mean, like, my, my, my camera's on a delay, right? If I'm reacting to any video footage, it would look late and weird. In fact, even that, I had to read through OBS, like, just because of the console setup. <laughs> so, anything deeper than that is not really something I'd love to do. Okay, well, there should be a weapon there. I've been here too recently. I'm super excited for Project L. I think I think it's going to be a really, really good wave. I mean, it's going to have good netcode, like, no doubt, right? And I feel like a lot of modern, like, really, really modern fighting games probably would have pure net, like, good netcode. Um, but just, you know, so, so something from a developer with, like, an established, really good online system, ranking system, like, like seems like a great way to track my progress. So. Hey, there we go. Weapon bases, weapon bases. Any weapons, any weapons. Give me something. Am I supposed to track where they spawn? Like, does that mean anything right there? Yeah, I feel like a lot of fan favorites are just inevitably going to be left out, but I, personally, I don't share your worry that it's going to be, like, all skirmishers and, like, conventional melee champions, because, like, I, I, I feel like the designers are certainly going to be creative enough to represent everything that people want to see. Maybe we're not going to get every specific fan favorite character, and obviously the niche audiences are going to be, like, really, really underserved, but... That? Oh, it's nothing. It's just little crevices. They don't go anywhere. You know what? I've got more than enough good weapons. I'm I'm happy to go in. I've changed my mind. You have Kindred and Azir, but you don't do puppet or summon characters. Yeah, that's valid. I'm just I'm 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 so lucky that like you know, there's not a lot of my favorite characters design-wise that also fits what I like to play, right? Like, I think, I think, I think Pike, Alawi, Kindred are, like, some of my favorite champions if we're not talking about if I like to play them, right? So, so I'm just so thankful that Pike, I love him so much in League, like, Is this a maze?
Okay, I actually do care about taking gloom damage right now. So we are swapping back here. Uh, I don't know how to get deeper. Especially since I feel like, oh, wait a minute, here we go. Yeah, I just, I just have to go through the like likes and the, like all the different enemies. There's no way around it. You know what, maybe we actually ignore the like likes. So this is where we fought the horror ones, right? And I didn't see any progression here. But maybe we just need to look ah a little more closely. not just drop my weapon and leave it. No! Fuck! I'm taking damage from that! I'm getting my weapon. I don't know where it is. I don't know where I put it. But I'm getting it back. Like... Can't have fallen that far. Okay, it's over here for some reason. <laughs> what the fuck? I think it's Yunobo's fault. That's nuts. Alright. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm I'm actually gonna do it. So that guy can deal damage through Sidon, which is kind of crazy. Just take my turns appropriately, and we'll be good. Mm, 
honestly, should I be using a better weapon against this guy? I think I should. <sighs> yeah, I should. <laughs> There we go. Now we get a spear flurry rush, right? Which is the best flurry rush by a lot. I fucked up. Okay. Why do I always forget he has that? I'm. I mean, there's nothing I can do but run away. Like, 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 I can't contest that move at close range. And it has... Okay, honestly, not the worst place for it to have dropped me. That's fine. So. I just have to deal with the keys again, that's all. The horror ones are already handled. That's a really good opening. Not getting any flurries. This is kind of bad. Now that's the easiest move to get a flurry on. There we go. I literally cannot see a reason, like like a super compelling reason I would want to use like any weapon that isn't a spear. I did this hitless! Wow! And he... Didn't drop any Lionel parts. Okay. Blows. Um... Up there, that's where I need to be. Can't 
can I guess what a composite character is based on my knowledge of Silas? Well, the core thing is his ult stealing, right? So a composite a composite character is uh, made up of... Yeah, yeah, no, that's what it is. A composite character is made out of tools from other characters' kits. They combine their strengths and weaknesses into something new. That's that's probably it. Right? Now, in Silas's case, it would probably be a little more direct than the average composite character, like just taking an ability, right? I can't believe I just beat a Silver Lionel hitless. <laughs> I can. I've got multiples of these now. Best two examples are Taskmaster and. Android 21, Taskmaster's entire move list is made out of certain parts of Deadpool. So I think, cool! And then, I'll, like, I, I'd assume most of them have something unique going for them, too, right? <gasps> Does Shang Tsung count? Like, Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat's the game I have the most familiarity with, even though it's still not very much. I played like 10 hours of Injustice and like a little bit of Mortal Kombat X. That's actually my fighting game history. Like an absolutely negligible amount of Mortal Kombat X. That guy's dead. No, he lived! Wait, is this Minoru doing that to me? Oh my god, it's actually Minoru's fault. Minoru is shocking me. Sage cannot reach you. Oh fuck, I'm solo. Wait, did he make me wet to combo with the- Okay, hang on, hang on. I have my weapon back. Okay, I didn't realize that it was possible for a guy to walk up and smack the bombs I'm holding in my arrow, so. Oh, he's a quick shot. A 
silver Lizalfo horn is a huge, huge, huge part to have access to. Standard chooch. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, do I have to use... Okay, what, what do we have access to? We have Zonite bases. Actually, really good Zonite bases. Well, not really good Zonite bases, but, like, good Zonite bases. We have devices. What do I need devices for? Um, do I need to fly through a gauntlet here? Didn't sign up for that, no thanks. Yeah, kind of looks like I'm supposed to fly. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have a Phantom Ganon fight there. Phantom Ganon, or if that's just actually Ganon. This is like really, really, really makeshift. Um, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna consider taking that guy out first. Okay, that went badly. Um, okay, now I am just... Orthodox Phantom Ganon fight here. I use a spear fighter this time. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat one of my foods here. Okay, side steps, side steps. Backflip's not working. Oh my god, okay. I forgot he's not interruptible. He's actually pretty easy to dodge now that I know what I'm doing. Tears is really good. Oh wait, Demon King's bow is actually worth it now, right? I like the Phrenic construct goes. Yeah, Demon King's bow is actually really good at this stage of the game. Not wrong. 
Flurry Rush lets you get off, like, a, a guaranteed combo from, like, whatever it deems a combo is on your weapon. So it gives you, like, four hits of, uh, two-handed, or, like, it's, it's like, it, it's, it's, it's just really cracked out with spears. I don't know why it's so good with spears. I'll use the Gloom Spear in a pinch. Oh, the timing window, you mean? Yeah. Baby game, I guess. It's not a Souls-like. <laughs> yes, I played Bayonetta 1. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was an excellent game. where we started no 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 is this the opening corridor is this the first co oh is this really oh it totally is isn't it oh it totally is yep yep how goes my journey into the castle it's going great i'm uh i i killed a lionel hitless and then took a lot of hits from phantom ganon Oh, Gibdos, huh? <laughs> Gibdos without sages! Come on! Come on! Wait, at least this gives me Gibdo bones. Holy shit, it gives me Gibdo bones! We were trying to farm for those earlier, and we couldn't. Hear the music? Ha 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 ha! This is awesome. Oh, you actually just get to. This one was covered, wasn't it? This one was covered by rubble, was it? Ah, you bastards. Demon King. Zelda with the so Wow! It reframes everything. Because we were here at the beginning, but so was all of this stuff.
is it worth eating the full recovery one right now? Mm. I mean, that's also got attack up. I have multiple full recoveries. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me find the best non-spoiler, like, depths photo for a thumbnail before we go in, because I do not want to walk back down here. It can't be this room. Oh, I just warped the light route and I'm fine. Yeah, I can get a thumbnail later. Never mind. I, I keep forgetting about my travel medallions. I haven't used them. I got them. I haven't used them. Any bubble frogs? No? No. Fuck it, let's drop one. This is a good place for one. Bubble frogs, yeah. I mean, we're in the depths, so we won't be able to frog, you know. And now I get to fall the rest of the way down? That is a fantastic point. That is a really good point. <laughs> I'm going to do that. <laughs> That's such a good idea. <laughs> like, let's cheese it. I want the massage. Oh, I disagree. I think there's great uses for them. Like, I know we have a ton of TP points, but there's some spots that are just... You know, maybe some farm spots that I'd like to be back to a little more directly, right? Like... I feel like if I were more creative and just more aware of my resource, I'd find a lot of use. Um. The fuck? That's such a good spot for one, too. Like... Alright. Let's go. <laughs> I almost took fall damage. Oh, Ganondorf! I'm coming to murder you! So nothing is happening right now, and they're offering me a torch. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that.
What's wrong with having a theme song, Alex? <laughs> I'm diving deeper. Oh, this is not okay. Here come the sages, right? Yeah, they're still in. It's the real sages! What about alien Latin? Which is scarier? I mean, I, I heard on, like, History Channel or whatever that aliens were all over the place before, so what if they invented alien Latin, and that's just, like, for the sole purpose of creeping people out? That goes hard. Okay, so actually, th th for once, this is like a great two-handed situation. The problem is, we'd have the Thunder Gleok Blade. Yeah, they are just piss random McGoblins. I need to find an opportunity to start charging again. There we go. No shot, I missed him. This is actually awesome to be fighting alongside all the real sages. I'm respecting these guys way too much. Okay, I, I deserve to be hit there. Oh. He's still bothering me. Probably gonna need to grab one of these blades really soon. Knight's broadsword is good enough. Where's my circuit? I didn't build any. I didn't bring them with me. My bad. Dude, I'm so used to looking for blue when I'm trying to track down my sages. It's actually disorienting. Oh wait, hang on, I don't want this. I see a spear on the ground. That's way better! <laughs> okay, let's like let, let's let's not jump into the middle of the fray. <laughs> Minero! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm actually so tired of how destructive Minoru is. <laughs> I've given her the most irresponsible weapons. Like... What next? Gibdo! I was expecting Moblins, but we'll, we'll take Gibdo. We'll take Gibdo. Okay, Riju, you're super important in this fight. And so is this. I think I'm actually just priming these guys for my sages to deal with them. I'm trying to grab all the loot. I want it. <laughs> Oh, he's the best. It's not close. He's the best. Okay, now we're on the Moblin wave, and I'm guessing a Lionel wave is coming, like, at the end of all of this. Oh, if I hit the Sages, I'm shooting my real friends this time, not just their projections. That's probably frowned upon. <laughs> Tell me it's a rush. It's a rush, right? We have faith to fight these beasts. Don't worry about us. <laughs> Sidon's guy sucks so much. <laughs> you ready to see the power? Sidon's fighting this. He's like, yes, easy mode. Yeah. That would have been cool, and I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest. But that's fine. Huh? Hey, bitch ass. We have a score to settle. It's a gloom situation. Sonia Stone.
Oh, hello. Put some shoes on, or at least charge them. Like... Ganondorf's giving out his grippers for free. Like... Regardless, I will reshape this world as it was meant to be. I will crush any opposition. I will rule. That is what a king must do. Okay, it's Ganondorf! That's a good rendition of his theme too. I'm I'm really getting goosebumps. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival. And the birth of his new world. Okay, so I'm going to try to save the Master Sword for the end. I don't want to get in a situation where I break the Master Sword early. Oh, never mind. Is that all? Wait, this is suspiciously just... Okay, not identical to the Phantom. No, it is the Phantom Ganon fight, but it's here. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. I'm just taking random hits right now. Take this. My master sword setup is fucking broken, though. Oh, okay. The wind warning me, and yeah, I see. Not fond of what's going on right now, but I'm glad I came prepared. I'm, I'm trying to learn the fight, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eh, I lose like three hearts from doing that. That's really not that bad. Uh, this is a satisfying one. Die! There we go! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you? You're the threat? Okay, wait, waiting for phase two. Like, obviously there's a phase two. What do you even have on that thing? It's like a... I don't know if it's... I think it's a Lionel Horn. A Savage Lionel Horn, maybe? Like, uh, it's something crazy. I almost forgotten the thrill of battle. That feeling is blood Or maybe, maybe it's frocks. No, 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 I think I put my Lionel stuff on two-handed weapons and I just put a frog thing on this. The limits of my power. He turned red! Oh shit! Ganondorf had a rave with all the glow sticks. He's. Oh, his, what's his health bar doing over there? Put that thing back where it came from. No, I kicked your ass in phase one. Your phase two is just brighter. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Oh, I, I keep forgetting he swings overhead rather than... Oh, no, 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 I can tell by the startup animation. I see. See, that's the sideways one, yeah. Okay, not really the one I want, but I will take something out while I can. Shh. Yeah, see, okay, okay, you can tell by the startup animation, so I have to look at that. Regis, this <laughs> my side on! <laughs> Good to see you, buddy! Okay, but I am really, really... Yeah. Let's do the sunny fruits right now. That's the sideways one. Yes! Yes! Okay, I can read it now. We settled it now, Ganondorf! 
This is the fakest big health bar I've ever seen. My sword is so overpowered. I'm not trying to carry that. I, I can't get too close to Minoru or she's gonna fuck me up. Is he throwing this? Close enough. Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm doing this. Oh shit. You're a fake one, right? No, you're the real one, hang on. Oh, that's why I did no damage. Hey, Ganondorf, guess what? to a phase either way, but... So the sages are out of play again? Yeah. Oh lord, it's a bullet hell. What? What the hell did that just do? Plus 12. I don't have enough hearts like deleted to justify doing that right now. How are you moving in? Converging, okay. Never mind, I'm absolutely doing this. I'm losing max hearts. He Flory rushed me! Oh my god, it doesn't matter if it's bloom damage. Okay, he, he's hitting overhead. He's not hitting over- Okay, I have to react. Okay, let's react. Oh, I don't- I don't have a sh That was not the right time to equip a shield. Okay. Holy fuck. Fuck! Dies insta, right? <laughs> oh. Now caress his chest. To put the arm back on. No, 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 no. He's not about to do what I think he's about to do, is he? Yeah, he's eating it. He's gonna eat it. It's not a gummy worm, Ganondorf. Don't do it.
I'll sacrifice it all to destroy you. That cannot be worth it. I mean, wow, he is so motivated by hatred that he killed himself. Wait, hold on, hear him out. <laughs> Wait. Wait, he might be on to something. <laughs> summon Midna. I wish Midna was in this game. I miss Midna. The third Breath of the Wild. Now you have the depths of the overworld and the sky and also the Twilight Realm and also the Dark World for fun because it's different and also um, the sky above the sky. There we go. More layers. Space! You go to space! He's so majestic. Look at the, this. This dragon form wouldn't hurt a fly, right? Okay, maybe, maybe maybe he would. Maybe he's a little angry. I had to kill a dragon. <gasps> I was hoping she'd show up. Dude, could you imagine if at the end of this we go to Lookout Landing and like three of the sages are there and they're like, yeah, Sidon fell to his death. Because <laughs> like only Tulin survives this reliably, you know? I don't have a rock land on him. Yenobo's fine, but it'll take him like two years to dig himself out. <laughs> Riju was small enough that Tulin could carry her. <laughs> I like that they got the same eyes because they ate the same stone. You know what I mean? Okay, how does this work? I can choose to jump off whenever I want, okay. Okay. Let me just get my bearings here. jumping off. <gasps> oh, I see. It really is, like, just... I bet that doesn't do too much, because it really is, like, yeah, 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 it's Dark Beast Part 2. In fact, I'd, I'd, I'd bet that this fight plays itself. <laughs> Let's swap to Frenic, even. Okay. 
not the scale's a little bigger. Oh wait, I can just land on here. <laughs> Oh, it's a little bit different. I'm so used to having Tulin. Okay, Zelda, can you give me some distance? Give me some height? You know what? You know what would actually help me in this fight? I'm not even kidding. We should actually wear this. You know, I'm not usually a fan of, like, fully cinematic fights. Ah, who am I kidding? I love cinematic fights. I'm, I'm just glad I also get- I get a skill fight, and then I get a cinematic fight. Where I just get something where I feel powerful on my own merits, right? But then, then I get something where I feel powerful because it's just fucking awesome. You know what I mean? Hey babe, can you come pick me up? I'm scared. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> Is that an air who? in the background of that instrument? I think it is. No, I love that they incorporated the core dragon theme in with this. This is so awesome. Like, they used all these musical elements we've heard before, just in, 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 in a context that's usually, like, somber and majestic and, like, you know, beautiful, but they made it... Like, no, it's, it's not even threatening, it's just... Okay, now it's threatening, because here's Gandalf's lead motif, but... They just made it sound powerful! Happy. It's, it's just that simple, right? <laughs> like, oh! No way! There's the thumbnail. <laughs> Wait, can I? <laughs> I have royal shield, yeah, okay. Do I get to mash? Do I get to button mash this? Yes! Oh, it's just final attack. Never mind. I thought this would be like Donkey Kong Country, where I just get hit by the dopamine every time I play a level. Right. 
I missed that fucking guy. <laughs> Speed runs now! Yes! Yes! I can watch content finally! Killed thousands of innocents in that column. Oh. Okay, well, Sidon definitely didn't make it up. That goes hard. Main quest complete. <laughs> yeah, imagine we're floating directly over Terrytown. <laughs> No, never mind. I just, just left my pants on. <laughs> no, bang that Sonic. Sonic, that's an animal. Sonia, we've met, we've never met formally. How are you doing? See, the difference is the goat fucker could consent. The dragon can't. Raru's a whole ass man, but. Okay, maybe 70, because there's fur. Yeah, okay, yeah. 70, 70 is a good estimate. Wait, guy, guys, 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 we're still in the sky. Can you help us just a little bit more? Just a little bit more. My clothes are still gone! <laughs> yeah, let's... Wait, I have to do this? <laughs> we needed just a little more help, guys! 
I don't know how strong this uh, paraglider is. Could have put that back the How did they put that back? <laughs> Don't worry, there's a complete Oh good. Okay, so yeah, no sir oh, you stole my surface tension joke! I mean, fall damage doesn't exist. That's good. Ganondorf nuked a pond. Wait, if Ganondorf nuked a pond, how... We shouldn't open our mouth in this pond. <laughs> this, this isn't safe. No, this raises more questions. Why is draconification forbidden if you can fucking undo it? Why did you forbid it? You had this potential all the time? <laughs> you, reached you. After all. you need two other people to die? I don't know for sure if they need to be dead. Oh, well, they're gonna die anyway, just like... <laughs> Now, see, I feel like Zelda's the type of character who would, like, you know, it wouldn't be completely out of character to not even take in this moment fully and just look at the castle. First thing on her mind is, how the fuck are we gonna get that back down? Right? <laughs> like, 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 obviously she's overjoyed or something, but, 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 but I can't imagine, like, cause, cause a moment ago, she was faced with the most difficult decision of her life, right? Like, in terms of her, and then she's asleep, she wakes up, she's like, oh my god, I... Fuck! It's up there! <laughs> we have so many pits to clean! Wait, she wouldn't have even seen the castle up there! That was her first time noticing it!
but no. No, if, you, if even Zelda can have a beautiful moment like this and not just immediately stress out about the next rest of the work, right? I mean, in a very, very, very roundabout way, this game taught me something about myself, right? In a very roundabout way, the way that we experienced it together allowed us to kind of explore a lot of interesting ideas and, you know, I got to be me in a different way and, uh... Yeah, it, it just, it, it's, it, it's cool. It, it's really cool how it just, it's an open world game and... I mean, it absolutely had its own meaning and then some of the extra meaning we found on top of it, like, was just from us being together, you know? And that's really cool. I loved that. Oh, Melt- Yeah, but melting his HP bar was so funny. <laughs> it was- That was- That was, like, almost the equivalent of Majora's Mask with Fierce Deity, right? So we beat the game, yeah. And I mean, Zelda coming back changes things so much, it's just... I mean, because at, at, at first... You, you know, it, it is still very much a game about identity, I think. About growth, about sacrifice. Like... But, but, this, but Zelda coming back... I mean, it changes so much of the idea. And maybe in a, maybe in a positive way. I mean, maybe for me in this moment, it just changes it in a positive way. Because I think going deeper on a thematic discussion would be, like, super, super interesting, but... Good end crap. I... I almost think it was more meaningful if we couldn't save Zelda. I almost feel like the story meant more if she was gone, to be honest. Uh, so, so I'm kind of the opposite. But at least for me as a person right now witnessing this scene, it almost means something along the lines of, like, you know, if, if you take a risk, if things aren't great for a while, right? It's, it, it's almost instead a story of just overcoming hardship. Which is kind of a story that I need to hear. And it's... Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, it's sad if Zelda can't come back. And we even talked about the horror of it so, so, so much. Like, like mainly when we were moving through the Construct Factory, right? But... Oh, it's such a gorgeous game. It's... And even now, I'm feeling like sadness that I didn't play with the machines as much, right? But... I mean, that's the thing, there's just, it's... It's, it's hard to sum up what we experienced exactly in Tears of the Kingdom in just, like, a sentence, right? There's so much that we could have explored in this game that we didn't. There's so much that we did explore that was exciting. Like, there's... Me turning it into a skill-building experience made me... Like... It made me a better streamer, but not a perfect streamer. But was anybody in this game perfect, right? No. No, nobody was perfect. They just tried harder every time, right? So here I, like, like if I really wanted to nitpick myself, I can, like, I can take this great emotional moment at the end and be like, wow, maybe, it, like, I, I said some pretty fucking dumb things while we were doing that, right? But, but, does that matter against just the sheer joy and excitement of being a part of that <laughs> like 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 we we can't let perfect be the enemy of good 
And we can't let my experience, like, be tarnished by the idea that other people had other experiences that I, like, missed or anything like that. And yeah, I had no Zoanite Death Star, which would have been really, really, really funny, right? Because, like... <sighs> Because we can't lose sight of the fact that, just, again, this, we, we, we got to express our creativity and have really fun, insightful conversations and just do all of these awesome things, like, together because of this game. And I'm letting my insecurity be the enemy of enjoying you guys being here, right? And so just as we watch the credits, I just really, really, really want to Thank you guys for the support again, right? I I don't mean to be too sentimental about it, but it's just 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 all the feelings I've had over the last few weeks really do culminate with these end credits. Right. Okay, drop the beat, please. Let's get a beat with this. Oh! <laughs> I actually got one. Yeah, so that's that's it. The the whole thing here, the the conclusion. I don't need to be a perfect streamer. I need to be your streamer. <laughs> I need to pander to the gay. I need to I need to be me. I need to let me come out. Right? What it, what it, whatever the authentic me is and hopefully the authentic me is it just upset that you know like it's I think that that's that's what the game is about I can't believe I'm queer baiting so at peace here. <laughs> I can't believe such an impressive landmass can float in the sky. I actually love That's that we're getting epilogue cutscenes. Figure the zone eye out. Everyone, I am glad I was able to bring you all here. I wanted 
to share this view of Hyrule with all of you. Whoa. I've never been this far up before, Goro. Wow, what a sight it is. And How did they get down? You were roaming the skies all along? Yes, although I don't really remember. I never thought I would actually stand here again. This is only a theory, but... Raru's power of light, and Sonya's time power. For Zelda to transform back, they both must have channeled their abilities through you, Link. Oh. I see. Now it seems, it is my time. Minoru! Do not worry. You have overcome the burden my era left to you. You have proven yourself, and you no longer <laughs> need me. I know We're kind of undercutting the emotions here a little bit. Join the others, and the world will be safe. They don't know where to go from there. <laughs> to support Princess Zelda and seek from the land of Hyrule. <sighs> Ravel and Sonya will be happy to hear of this. Just how much you care. King Raru, Queen Sonia, Minoru, the ancient sages, they wished not only to save Hyrule from the Demon King, but for it to see eternal peace. I will dedicate myself to that goal. Ah, uh, we have a six foot clearance no. from the the sides, Zelda, you should step back a bit. <laughs> I don't think she's ever been My trained friends, in roof safety. With all of your strength, stand with me.
too many OSHA violations. Way too many. Way, 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 way too many. Okay. Um... I'm just, I'm trying to wrap my head a little around, a little around what exactly this means to me, right? Yeah, no, there's, there's, there, there's a lesson that works really specifically for me somewhere in here. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what it is, right? I mean, the reason I couldn't understand the sac like all the themes of sacrifice, is because the characters in this game um, had the courage that I didn't, right, to take a risk to accept something going badly, right, to give something up for the greater good, right. And I just. And they had friend, like it's friends and community and a reason for being right. And I, I have you guys, and that's, yeah. I live a lot of my life on fear, but this year was supposed to be the year where I really overcome that and start to have courage, right? And I feel like I've succeeded in some ways and failed in some others, but. It's not the end of the year yet. We don't... Right? We... I feel really free. I feel, I feel really relaxed. Okay. So what's next for us, guys? Um, I'm not going to guarantee any more Tears of the Kingdom content. I've already learned my lesson. I tried to promise more Hollow Knight. I tried to promise more Baba. The reality is I'm going to be looking forward, right? I'm going to be looking forward at what's next, and there's always going to be something that comes next, and I don't want to be bogged down by the rest of it. That said, I think I am a little bit interested in playing more Tears of the Kingdom. It just probably won't be here on Twitch. Um, so what's probably going to happen, if I play more, it's either completely 100% on my own time, no recording, or it's going to be at some, like, bullshit random hour as, like, a Discord stream. Like, just hanging out with people, and I maybe record that. Because I'm really close to 100% shrine completion in this game. If I choose to go for it, I might choose to go for that. But obviously no guarantees of anything. What's actually coming up next is that, for the first time in the history of this channel, we are going to enter a full League of Legends period. And what is going to happen is, in addition to the competitive matches that I'm going to be streaming, I'm going to make, for the first time in four years, literally four years, a genuine, earnest attempt to climb and improve. With almost every game live on stream. That's what I'm going to be doing. And I do believe if I spend that time and make that effort, that we'll get back to Diamond. I do believe that. And I believe that with effort, I'll be able to go any further. Now, what I'm going to need from you guys, what's, what role am I doing? 
back to support. I'm trying to make it easy on myself so I can take the time to expand what my brain can think about all at once, right? Um, we're, we're climbing support. Ba it would be backed up. My peak is D3, which was like four years ago. Um, and I'll, I'll see how far I can go. I mean, most likely D1 is possible if I improve and climb. I would like to be masters, but I'm not making it my goal by end of season. So... What I'm going to need from you guys in Twitch chat is anybody who wants to watch, like, awesome, and I'm really happy about that. Um, but I'm going to need a little bit of emotional support along the way as well. Um, just something that doesn't make me feel alone in the hard parts of the climb, you know? Um, and I'm going to be getting that from, like, friends off stream and stuff like that. Um, for sure, for sure, for sure. Because really, yeah, I, again, like, like what, what really became clear to me what, in this game, like, playing through the story and, like, t taking in what the game means, what really became clear to me is that I'm not using my resources. I'm, I'm isolating, and so I'm scared, right? But. Yeah, no, I'm gonna... I, I am almost sure I have enough game knowledge to get me to Master Tier. I'm almost sure. What I am lacking is the ability to execute on it, or to recall it in the moment, or to, you, you know, like, all these soft skills and all these decision-making, like, practices, and, like, all of those. I, I'm missing those, but I think I have the base knowledge. And I'm gonna treat, yeah, I'm going to, I'm gonna try to take on simple goals, and... Uh, what, what I will also need, actually, actually, more importantly than the emotional support, what I will need is your experiences, okay? I'm going to need to know, like, fighting game experiences are going to be really valuable here. Um, sports experiences are going to be really valuable here. I'm just going to need to know what, like, th periodically throughout the climb, how you guys experience practice. How you guys have experienced getting good at things that require mechanical or physical execution because i've only truly gotten good at slow methodical thinky games only really i'm only truly great at legends of runeterra right so i'm there's going to be times when i'm going to get really really bogged down in the details and i'm going to try to i'm going to try to like take on too many learning objectives at once I just need a little bit of help, like, staying clear on that, right? And I, yes, I would like to hear a funny story from two days ago. We're, we're obviously about to wrap up very soon, but, um, yeah. No shot. What, you just randomly ascended? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, let's just have good experiences. Let's just... Okay. Get some rest, guys. I hope to see as many of you as possible tomorrow for my APL match. I hope to see as many of you as possible on Friday for my EDL match. And then on Saturday, on Saturday, we are going to climb. Shit, I think I have ELO sitting requirements for Friday, but not... I checked myself for Thursday and I was good, but I didn't check myself for Friday. Ah, hell. Okay, um, maybe we're climbing on Friday. <laughs> maybe we're playing the game on Friday. Oh, I'm not killing this feeling now. I have some reflections to do. I have some rest to do. If I were to climb now, it would absolutely obliterate my mental state. It's not time. Okay. Well, good night, everyone. Love yourselves. Respect each other. I'll see you next time. Thank you for sharing this game with me.